produce simu simulation software uh, why do we use simulation uh, in order to avoid uh, making any improvement in our system and so we could test it before we do it and we pay for it uh, for example hiring more people uh, installing new machines relating facility in a factory uh, put the machine closer to each other reduce the distance between machine so we use a simulation software to test it before we do the improvement actually doing it on the system uh, so this video is tutorial uh, about the CU simulation software uh, so this is the main screen and simu is av available for free on their website uh, so you could see the main screen is split into three parts here we have the ribbons uh, that has components and the component will be used to build the model on the left hand side of the screen we have standard library uh, for example we have source source is used to create the entities entities is just uh, to represent people in a surface chain or a product in a factory and we have the sink where you dispose your entity where you kill your entity and we do have the server how you process the entity on the right hand side we have the navigation windows uh, of how to navigate within this one how to zoom in and zoom out and we have the properties related to the library the one we inserted so we're gonna start with the first model uh, just to give you an example what we're trying to uh, saying if we have uh, we're gonna do <coughs> a model for a shop and Uh, so we're gonna do the, uh, this following model uh, so we have a hot, hot dog stand and um, so the arrival rate of the customer is 20 per hour on average following a Poisson distribution and the service time is triangular so it's between 1-4 minutes and the queuing in the system is first and first out basis and the customer walk at a rate of 1 meter per second and the opening hours from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. Uh, of the day so if we're trying to calculate uh, the, um, if we're trying to calculate the server utilization the average number in the system the maximum number in the system the average time in the system and the maximum time in the system okay so let's see how it's to be done on the same US based software it's in a very easy way uh, but before I start, I have to mention, like, if we if we click on support, there's lots of videos, there's lots of training, there's lots of simple solutions where there is like a models already built in for people just to use and to look to so that if they want more information about how to do things in Simio. Uh, so we gonna start by uh, click on the source and drag and drop here if we double click on the source we could put as many as we want if we could double click on source as a standard here so we could put as many as we want so i'm gonna delete i'm gonna delete the remaining one okay so this is source okay and we need i'm gonna place it here and we need a sink i'm gonna put it here and we need a server which work as a process to process the data okay <coughs> uh, in order to connect them uh, we could use a connector or the path the difference between connector or the path or the time pass or the conveyor the difference between connector to start which is a simple one and the path connector the transfer time is zero that working time between uh, module source and server is zero and while in the past we could specify uh, the distance between modules as, a, as well as the work distance between modules okay so um, so we're gonna use the path in order to connect them so this is the first one and 
So we click on this one. This is the second one. So we have, you could see here the arrows. So it's connected towards that direction, going from the left to the right. Okay. Uh, so if I click on the pass here, uh, we have the draw to scale. It is true. And if you if I click here on the draw to scale, and if we uh, this we need the run speed factor. No, not this one. The project home. Um, so this is the draw to scale. So we need the units. Edit. I just need one second to to find it. Uh, drawing project home and so we we started with the drawing to scale uh, so we if we click on the pass and we say drawing to the scale if we come here Okay, if we go to the scale and we set the unit which is one meter meters per hour uh, meters per second okay and the area squared meter squared meter per hour okay so we we set each one to a unit of measurements the one we have so squared uh, centimeter squared meter per hour or squared meter the one we have each one will be a meter so if we we count one two three four five six and we need to move this one a little bit so seven or two three four five six seven so if in case we need eight as it says here we have to move it one more to eight or we could easily if we click on the path and we say draw to scale we move it to false uh, we move it to false and then we we put the values here as eight and the same appli applied here so we put it as a false for the pass the second pass and we put the value as uh, five meter okay so this is the first part and then we go to the um, uh, source we have the properties here so we have one each one coming uh, on average uh, 20 people per hour 20 customer per hour so we need here of three minutes and it is per arrival uh, every like three three people per hour uh, so random experimental three uh, just time in minutes and so this is the units in minutes so it's like once every three minutes on average if we click on the server we have the random triangular time if we don't remember how it is written we just have to write random dot triangular so we have the values here it is uh, given so it is uh, one 2.54 so one five and four and so this is correct and this is in minutes as well okay um, so we run the program we just need to click on run it has to start at 10 a.m. okay so it's 18 of February uh, so for this specific starting time and so we need here 10 a.m. in the morning and a second okay and the ending is at the same day at 10 p.m. okay so we have use the starting time is going to be extremely specific 10 a.m. and the ending time is okay 
12 hours running time 12 or could just specify run lines of 12 hours so I'm gonna run the program for 10 hours 12 hours which is as I specify as from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. so we run the program and we could be could just do the fast forwarding this one is in the queue is waiting here in the queue so in case I do the average for the running so it is like 0 0.01 hours so I'm gonna do fast forward and it's done 12 hours in a second so if I click on results I've got loads and loads and loads of results so I select here similar to Excel like you could select filtering here uh, so we need uh, model entity and server which is the entity you have and the server and object name and the same we need here so it's all the one we have and the data source gonna resource and population resource and sorry resource and so we just need resource and population and the one after it as well we need the capacity and flow time and the data as well I'm gonna destroy all this we need the number in system and scheduled utilization and time in system and okay and here statistics you know I love the average maximum and minimum okay so uh, by doing this we obtained the results we need so I'm gonna stop it rerun but before I do this I'm gonna do one thing like really quick so if I come back to the facility I need a model entity I'm gonna put it here so this one is customer and so stop and I'm gonna run it fast forwarding my system go back to the result and try to see what's the problem so we come back to the statistics data item object type okay so we have the model entity and server and object name I'm gonna have the customer and server one Okay, data source, category, capacity. Uh, so by specifying So by specifying the statistics, uh, while well the data items, time and system, uh, scheduled utilization, we could see it here, the percentage 79% busy of the time, and the maximum, minimum, and the average hours. So this would be like uh, the first example about seeing your project, a very uh, easy example about how to do a hot dog stand. Uh, so in case you have any question. Uh, please send to my email address. Thank you.